Hello there, it's Rita from Honeydew Journal. Welcome back to my channel. This is the place where we all get creative together. In today's video, I'm gonna be setting up my January 2024 monthly setup. I have chosen Snowman as my theme for this month. So for that purpose, I chose this cold icy color palette to complement my snow, snowman and snowflake doodles. I'm using my new A5 toilet grid journal for this year's setup, which I bought from Daraz. Without delaying any further, let's get started. I've tried to create a few changes in my monthly setup than the usual way people have been using. I decided to merge my calendar spread and code page for now as one single spread. This would save two pages in my journal on monthly basis and would shorten the length of the video for all of you guys to watch easily. So for this month's quote, I wrote be more like a snowflake. If I try to relate it to myself, I would say um, all of the snowflakes are different from each other, unique in their own way, you know. So we all don't have to be like somebody else. We all should own ourselves and be more like snowflakes. So for my cover page, I decided to create a giant snowman with spooky nose of carrot, loud magician's hat on its head, brown stems as its arms and the orange knitted scarf around its neck to complete the look. For the snowflake doodles, I got inspiration from Amanda Rachley December 2017 bullet journal setup. I used steel grey tones to color in snowy parts and ice blue shades for snowflakes from my Crayola Super Tips pack of 100 pens. I used Sakura Pigma Micron 01 and 03 for outlining everything and the chunky 08 nib size for drawing straight lines in calendar spread and elsewhere needed. For my hand lettering, I used Sakura Pigma Fine Tip Brush Pen. Sakura pens are a very reasonable choice for any regular use instead of spending a lot more just to buy outlining pens. Um, next up I have my mood tracker for January 2024. Again I doodled a gigantic snowman. This time I outlined my snowman first because this will help me divide it through um, easily to write dates on them. I'll be coloring the parts of this snowman according to my mood on daily basis, except for its tummy and its hat. I designed a broomstick with it, you know, to go with my theme. I really like how these spreads turned out to be. I would say I like its cute little gloves and its uh, big long nose is my most favorite. How about you guys? Please tell me in the comments below. I'd love to hear about your opinions. I used stylish calligraphy font as my reference for hand lettering all the titles on my pages. You can also use it by downloading it for free from Google via Fonto app or any other editing app you like to use. Speaking of which, um, actually I was thinking about creating a video on how to do modern calligraphy, uh, i.e. hand lettering. I would love to know what do you guys think about it. Further ahead, I have my habit tracker for January. I'll be tracking only 4-6 to six habits maximum because I have, um, I have seen many people who, who love to track about 9-10 to 10 habits but for me it turned out to be quite overwhelming and hectic. I mean, it could become useless after some time, you know, to pressure yourself into tracking 10 habits a day. I don't think so that it's possible for anyone to keep up with so many habits. It can't work. So talking about the spread this time, I chose to write all the dates for mini calendar instead of using silicon calendar stamps. It was um, getting my pages to look uh, messed up. Until unless I learn some new techniques to use them, I'll be doing it this way. I know this will increase my effort but it's okay because I love bullet journaling. I created the, these uh, little sophisticated banners on each calendar to write habits and um, doodled a few snowflakes around them. Moving further to next couple of spreads for January, I'll be creating a thought spread this time to write down all of the things 
um, all of the words that anyone said to me, hence all of it which boosts, boosts my mood. I was in kind of a need for such spread because I have been tensed and sort of depressed from last couple of days due to some reasons so I thought that um, the spread could help me deal with that. To create the spread, I created a blurry border of tiny snowflakes and snowballs and in the middle of the page I wrote the title Ways to Boost My Mood. Alongside to it, I doodled a small scale snowman to go with the theme for this month. The next spread was my work and phone hours tracker and now I'm doing my gratitude log for this month. I chose to fill up all the 31 boxes with all the 5 colors from my color palette. It looks amazing just the way I anticipated. I hope you guys also like it and do try it out sometime. Um, moving on to the last spread for this month, I've been thinking of creating a weather tracker from last month and finally I gathered some courage to create one. I just simply created 31 boxes of 2 by 2 cm dimensions in the middle, wrote the title on top, created some snowflakes and doodled a cute snowman in the bottom right corner. And finally, I'm done with January 2024 bullet journal setup. I really enjo enjoyed this month's spread. I was quite astonished to see how well they turned out. I hope you guys did too. See you in my next video. Till then. Stay tuned, please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Take care, bye bye.